Okay. Still stuck. Still stuck in this Manila traffic. How awesome is that? But I've decided to be yeah, productive and multitask. But I'm not distracted. It's really crawling right now, as you can see in the background here. Um, so I want to talk to you about... Ah, I forgot already. Okay, mindset. Mindset is a really big thing. Now, I deal with a lot of clients. Um, let me tell you a story. I had this guy. He looked like an angel. Yeah, hell's angels. There you go. He looked like a biker. This dude was like 6'4", six, 6'3". Six, and he was one of my first clients when I started out. He's an overweight guy, you know, bald. I was like, oh man, this guy's like hell's angels. I don't know why he wants to get fit with me. You know, I was a young personal trainer just starting out. And, you know, he was actually really gentle giant he was like you know had a really soothing voice he's like hey jose i just want to lose some weight um he was traveling with his wife and daughter they were i believe somewhere in uh, france and he couldn't go up a flight of stairs so that was his rude awakening he said that was my epiphany i needed to do something about my life because so, um, i think he was in his 40s and his daughter was like not even 10 and he wanted to be healthy for his daughter so um, a lot of people come to me and you know, they want me to help them improve their lifestyle, their fitness, their health. Um, but the um, the way they say it is different, right? You know, I want to lose weight. Um, I want to get fitter for my family. Um, I want to see my grandkids, you know, and their uh, graduation, their university graduation, all these different things. Um, and, you know, it, 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 it helped them through fitness, right? Now, one big thing when you want to get fit, I say you have to be mentally fit to get physically fit. You know those happy chemicals that you get after you know good run, that runner's high. Um, you know when you move physically, it changes you chemically. Um, so um, there's that mind-body connection. You really have to have that, um, no doubt. You know, think of someone who has, who's, who's very confident, who who can talk to anyone, who exudes um, sex appeal, whatever, self-confidence, self-esteem. What do you think of? Just think about the posture, right? Shoulders back, chest out, chin up, big smile, talks loud. What's up, guys? Huh? Hey! You know, with a big smile. Body language, we really can um, judge people just by the way they look and how the way they move, right? By the same token, on the other side of the coin, um, Someone who's shy, who's very enclosed, is very shy and enclosed too with their posture, really quiet, soft-spoken, looking always, their gaze is always downwards, not eye to eye, you know, they're not confident. So there is that mind-body connection. Now, <clears throat> mindset, going back to that, why is that important? Well, you have to be, <clears throat> you have to know that it's not all physicality. You have to be mentally fit. You need to know that this is a tough, and, um, tough thing to do. This guy, this biker dude, was like 6'4". He's not even a biker, but he looked like... Oopa. Sorry about that. He's not even a biker, but he definitely looked like one. 6'4", um, big dude. Scary. I was scared when I first met him. But anyway, we got to know each other, and he was intimidated to, to sign up to the gym. And I can understand that. You know, when I first signed up to the gym, I was 18. I was scrawny AF. I was 18 and I was like, right now I'm about 165, 170 at most. Um, I used to be 140 pounds this height, right? I never grew to, I stopped growing when I was 18, I guess. Um, so I had to grow horizontally. So, you know, most people want to lose weight when they join the gym. For me, I'm on the other side of the coin. I wanted to gain weight. Um, I wanted to increase my self-esteem, my confidence. So I understand where people are coming from. Just joining the gym is hard enough on its own so people start to work out at home. But you have to remember this, and you have to have this mindset. People are not in the gym to laugh at you, to laugh at the noobs out there, to laugh at the newbies, right? They're there because they want to get fitter and healthier. And people always tell me, but Jose, I feel like they're staring at me. You know, I stick out like a sore thumb. I understand that, but trust me, they're too busy about, you know, minding their own business. They're thinking about, um, they're thinking about life, they're thinking about their laundry, they're thinking about what to cook for dinner when they go home, they're thinking about work the next day or school if they are in school, they're checking themselves out, they're on YouTube, they're, you know, they're too busy, they're not staring at you. So if your only issue is um, the only roadblock that you have right now for signing up for the gym is 
because um, you're afraid that people will stare at you, then you've already lost the battle, okay? What I'm trying to say here is don't be a prisoner of other people's thoughts, all right? It doesn't matter. Don't, they're just thoughts. They're not roadblocks. They're not, you know, what do you call those things? Roadblocks, I guess. Um, those obstacles that you have to hop over. They're not, it's not a wall. It's not a physical wall. So don't defeat yourself mentally before you can even sign up for the gym and start exercising. So whenever you try to do something new, you have to remember that you have to get out of your comfort zone. Okay, it's not gonna be easy. When you have that mindset, then you know you're close to, one step closer to at least getting fitter, right? Um, yes, it's, it's, it's definitely intimidating to sign up for a gym, especially if you're not fit, right? And you see all these fit people or people that seem, seem to know what they're doing. You know, it's a lot easier to join a gym with friends that are around you, but if they don't live near you or work near you, then it's a lot harder to sign up on your own. But don't let be that excuse that will stop you from getting a healthier body, okay? That's all I'm trying to say right now. You have to have the right mindset. You have to be mentally fit before you can be physically fit. You have to know that it's not going to be easy because if it were easy, everyone... Yep, I need, I need to put something here and push it in more. That's what she said. <laughs> oh man, all right. I guess that's it, that's it guys. So, um, that's all I'm trying to say. You have to be mentally fit to get there, okay? Um, if you have any questions, if you need, you know, support, uh, not financial support, <laughs> emotional support, mental support, feel free to reach out. I know, I know what you're feeling. I've dealt with this with a lot of clients and with myself as well. I understand and just know that you're not the only one, okay? Maybe that might help you. Um, maybe you don't know that you think your problem is unique, but trust me, a lot of people have the same issues. And once you get started, you have to remember that it's not going to be easy as well. You won't see results all the time. Sometimes, you know, you're going to reach a plateau, but that's normal. Going to the peak of, you know, the pinnacle of your fitness, it's not just up, up, uphill. There's some dips on the way too. It's never straight away. Okay, so if you know that, you know that you can expect that you will plateau, in fact, you even fall off the wagon. That's normal, we're human, we're not perfect, okay? Um, if you have any questions that you want me answered, feel free to comment you know, below, um, email me, um, reach out, okay? Just know that I'm here to support you and I hope that my vlog has, you know, will affect you in a good way, so if there's anything that I can contribute, please let me know, I'm here to help. All right, till next time, guys. He's up.